So welcome to this quick demonstration on the Spanner 100 gig with 25 gig of Ethernet interfaces. So the application for this is front hall. So an explanation for, for front hall basically, first of all back hall links the mobile network back to the wire network, it's a well understood term. Front hall is where it's a connection between the central office, these centralised baseband units, to the remote radio head. Now traditionally that was done via CIPRI over optical fibre, but now it's increasingly been turned into Ethernet. A 10 gigabit Ethernet can be used, but for 5G networks, 25 gigabit Ethernet bandwidth is required as an enabler for these 5G networks. So in terms of test application, the Tera 100 gig is inserted in line into these 25 gigabit Ethernet interfaces, into the 25 gigabit Ethernet links. And the radio manufacturers, they need to emulate real-world impairments prior to building and deploying 25 gigabit Ethernet equipment in the network. And the way that's done is a Tera 100 gig can emulate and impair these 25 gigabit Ethernet links with delay, packet jitter, drop packets, error, repeated misordered packets, etc. So first of all, let me go to the user interface. So let's click on the home button here first, go into profile impairments. It's a very quick demo. We're going to instrument setup. And now here on port one and port two, we have a CFP2 with 25 gigabit ethernet selected here. Now this is done by the use of adapters. So it's a CFP2 to SFP28 adapter. So we've got a 25 gigabit ethernet signal coming out in an SFP28 optical interface on both of these ports. So now if we go into the impairments, so here we have eight profiles in each direction. I want to show you how easy it is to add impairments into these profiles. So you click on the filter button, it shows you that we have a destination and source address set up for the Mac and that we have IP4 being carried within the Mac Ethernet frames. Now if we go into delay jitter, so if you want to add delay, it's simply a case of selecting the radio button, turning that on and turning it off. Um, we have 50 microseconds delay set up, you can increase that if you wish. In terms of jitter, again, very easy to set up. And here we have a Gaussian distribution, which is set up earlier, um, of, of packet jitter. And if you want to apply that packet jitter, you simply select that to on. Now turn it back off. In terms of packet corruption, you've got error packets, lost packets, misordered packets, repeated packets. If you go to error packets, you have burst or a rate, Again, you simply turn these on and off, and you get a burst or rate, and you saw the, the orange button going on corruption when you do that. Lost packets, again, you can have a rate or a burst. Turn it on, goes orange here, turn it off. Misordered packets, again, simple radio button for turning on and off. And repeated packets, again, a simple radio button for turning on and off. It's not meant to be a detailed demo, it's a very quick look at how easy it is to add packet delay, packet jitter and packet corruptions to one individual profile here on a 25 gigabit Ethernet interface. In addition, you can also set physical errors, so you've got symbol errors, and turn that on and that basically does f physical symbol errors across all of the, um, it's a physical in rate interface, physical interface so that's across all profiles obviously. So that's all I really wanted to show you in terms of the, the user interface. And so I just go back to the um, slides here. Back to slides. So summary of the 25, summary of the capability in the Terra 100 gigs. So we now have 25 gigabit Ethernet interfaces added to the existing 100 gigabit Ethernet and 40 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. The 25 gigabit Ethernet is done on a, an SFP28 with SR and also LR optics as long as effects enabled. We can add delay, jitter, drop packets, error packets, repeated packets, misordered packets, etc. And we can support up to 16 profiles. That's eight profiles in each direction. Filter Builder allows you to build these different profiles and you can import these profiles and filters from the Wireshark capture filter. Now down on the right hand side here, you can see the CFP2 ports with the adapter. So that's the CFP2 to SFP28, and you've got an SFP28 interface here, optics here, on both ports. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. So thanks very much. Thank you.